Looking alright, we've got the point, nice under control, Hog's topped up, come on, get back into your mech, get back in your mech, do that, good, oh, Hog's looking like he's going to take some damn bed, oh, oh, oh. Welcome to Pro Bronze, the series which is a nice, safe space and a big warm hug to all the noobs and nobodies that aren't going to go anywhere just like me. I'm just a bronze, I can't offer you any high level advice. Fortunately for you, YouTube is cram packed up the asshole with videos that can give you tips on every available character and every conceivable strategy. What this video is for is to fuel those congenial few of you those who genuinely want to improve their teamwork. Please enjoy the mystery heroes in the background. You might notice that I have not chosen footage which coincides with the hero that I'm talking about. That's because it was fucking hard. So here we go with a list of tips on how to be an awesome teammate. How to assist Doomfist. Watch his back. When Doomfist leaps into the group in front of him, he's trying to punch someone for a one shot or do a significant amount of damage. When he's doing that, he's extremely vulnerable. He can only look one way and he can only aim one way. If Doomfist is in there wrecking their shit, try and give him some covering fire so that he can get his damage done and get out of there safely. Helping Genji. Leave some health packs available for him. Don't be a greedy fuck and run off to grab the health pack just because you're 20 below. If you can make it back to your healer, you should get them to heal you all the time. Genji needs those lifelines in the passageways to the sides. When he's scampering for safety, he needs to go to a health pack. A lot of Genjis will get followed up by players who want to secure their kills, so make sure there's something there for him to pick up. How to help out McCree. His Peacemaker does pretty big damage, but not from far away. Do what you can to try and bring the enemies closer. And remember, it's not always that easy to shoot pharmacy out of the sky unless you've got Deadeye, and even then you can make mistakes. Maybe stand with him, get behind Reinhardt's shield or something to give the enemy a more attractive target, a more tempting trap to come into. Helping Farah. Get rid of her natural counters. It's fair that a great many Farahs don't give a shit about their positioning and don't evade correctly, if they try at all. But it might not be that your Farah is terrible. It could be that the opposition is just exceptionally good. Soldiers and McCrees cause problems, but a good Widowmaker is a fucking nightmare. And Diva is an irritating like a scab on the tip of your prick. Helping Reaper. Don't give away his position. He could be lining up an epic death blossom. Keep in mind that he wants to stay hidden. He's not the easiest character to camouflage, and a lot of his best work is done behind enemy lines. Throwing him an armor pack or keeping a mercy beam on him when he doesn't really need it can give away a fantastic position that he's been working on getting to. If you see him peel off a corridor to the side, perhaps don't follow him around there. Unless he specifically asks you for fire support, he's probably got something planned. He may be going for a specific squishy on the other team, and unless he's running right up the center with the main column, there's no reason to think that he needs help. Soldier 76. Stay close to him to get more out of his grenade heals and beef his ult up. It can be a huge boost when he puts his nade down and you guys get some great healing. He does have sprint, but that doesn't mean he wants to charge between you just to drop a healing pack. His main purpose is damage. It's kind of there to help him and other flankers when they're out on the job. But if he drops it in the middle of the group, don't be stupid. Go over to it and get the most use out of it you can. It'll also take a bit of pressure off your healers if they're under fire. For Sombra. Help by keeping an eye on her translocator. If you can't see where it is, chances are the enemy doesn't know where it is. If you can see it in the middle of the fucking road, it's pretty possible the enemy can see it in the middle of the fucking road too. If you see it at a health pack, and you see an enemy standing there camping it, blow their fucking head off. You don't want Sombra coming back and losing that opportunity to deliver that clutch EMP. And if you see her translocator on a hacked health pack, and you don't really need to grab that health pack for yourself, leave it for her, because when she pops back, she's probably going to be very low. Tracer. Try to make note of where she came in if she's joining you on the point fight. If she uses recall, that's where she's going to end up, and if it's flooded with enemies, she doesn't stand a chance in the middle of them with no blinks or no recall. It all happens pretty quick with Tracer, but if you see her go low on health and then flash away, make sure you put a bit of covering fire where she's going to end up. 
Bastion. If you're in deep shit and your shield tanks have gone down, he's firing away trying to mow them like last week's fucking lawn, body block for the bastard. Unless he's as useless as two planks of wood wearing a hat, he'll probably be able to mow them down quicker than you can. If you die and then he dies, no bloody worries. You'll both respawn together and be able to team up more easily. I'm not saying to throw yourself in front of him unnecessarily, but if there's no other choice, any character can give him an extra half a second, especially D.Va, because while she gets blown up and she's getting out of her mech, her mech can still absorb damage until it's fully destroyed. Hanzo, tell him if you see enemies undercover. He'll probably want to send a sonic arrow that way. Additionally, if you see an ideal target for him to shoot dragons at, you should tell him. Junkrat. Use his trap to your advantage. Get excellent value out of it. Pay attention to where he puts the bloody thing. Hang around it and make enemies step in it. It might seem easy to watch videos of professionals dodging it and shooting it, but the reality is, it's fucking annoying. Everyone steps in them all the time. Be there when that happens. May, don't stray too far. If you are playing with Mei and you've got other flankers and long range people, let them do what they want, but if you need to be hanging around the same area she is, stay fairly close because when she puts a defensive wall up, you do not want to be on the other side of it. A lot of people get angry because they get unwittingly trapped and it's not Mei's intention to do that. You could just be on the wrong side of the fence at the wrong time. Don't be there at the wrong time. Make her feel good because she's not protected just herself, but other people when she's put that fucking thing in the way. To help Torbjorn, stand somewhere that he can see you. If you are somewhere that he can throw an armor pack at you, he can do it without you thinking about it. That's a part of Torbjorn's job, looking out for opportunities to armor up the team. And for an extra bit of help, tell him if his turret's looking like shit. The vast majority of Torbjörns like to get back and nurture it back to health as often as they can do it safely, but if they have happened to forget, just, just give them a little reminder. To help Widowmaker, try and make your enemies turn their back to her. If you're a part of the brawl, move so that you make the enemy look at you and turn their back to the Widow. You want them dead as much as the Widow does. It might not help you get on fire by giving you a few assist points, but you are assisting, just not in the way the game expects you to. To help out your diva, keep an eye on her defense matrix. If it's gone, don't make her body block you just to keep you safe. Take it upon yourself to find cover. Once that defense matrix has eaten the ult or covered your ass, get your delicious booty somewhere safe quick smart. To help out Arissa, use her damn shield! She sticks it out there half the time to protect you lot when you're out the front too far doing whatever it is that you do. If you're not going to stand behind the thing, she may as well just stick it in front of herself. Follow where her halt is going, because in a couple of moments, that's where the enemy are going to be. It does you a favor by holding the enemy still for a moment, then dropping them directly down to the ground. If you want easy aiming, that's it. To help out Reinhardt, stay behind him but move forward with him. He doesn't do the damage. He protects your ass while you should be getting the picks. He does have a lot of damage potential in his kit, but for the whole time that right click is pressed, he depends completely on the rest of the team. Don't let him down, because he's probably someone who would rather play DPS. To get in Roadhog's good books, shoot whatever he is shooting. His spray goes out so quickly that he can't really put anything down that's not standing directly in front of him. That's what the hook is good for, bringing the targets close enough for him to plant a whole chunky round of scrap into, especially that right click one that looks like he's just hand fisted a turd out of his ass and chucked it at the wall. Finish off the kills that he can't. He puts in a little bit of damage to contribute and controls where the other people are. For Winston, Try and take down the targets he's attacking from far away. He'll be back to join you in a moment, that's the way that the tank works. He's not going to stay there and take all the damage in the world because he can't. He will be back to you for healing fairly soon. Whenever he's out there making a big display of himself, try and take out the most effective target. He's going to be tickling damage onto them. See if you can finish the job. Just don't overextend. Don't go out with him when there's no need to. Expect him to come back, because Winston is all over the place. 
Zarya. To help her out, you've got to share the spotlight. It's a two-person tango. Whenever she puts a bubble on you, it's not just so you can get to safety, she's trying to charge up. If you get a bubble and you're with her on the front, step in front of her. You want to body block her with that sweet delicious bubble that's going to ramp up that polar beam. Polar beam? Particle beam. Once that thing's at full charge, it's basically a 40 foot fucking lightsaber. It will cut down anything. Dip in, dip out, and take cover as necessary. Become the power couple. To help Anna, make sure she can see you. If you're defending a point, don't stand behind a rock wall where you can't get healed. She might be able to pop a grenade up there in just the right spot, but it's much more reliable and helpful to her if you put yourself somewhere she can shoot you. In addition to that, call out when you need heals. When Anna has scoped in on something, it's not always easy to keep an eye on your team's health bars. Anna is expected to deal with the Farah if the McCree or soldier on your team are crap. Most people who don't like Anna's stand in stupid shit spots that can't be healed. To help out Brigitte, do what she can't do. Focus on the long range threats. If anything gets too close, which by now, this late in the season, they should know not to do, they will be soundly beaten, if not stunned into oblivion. If you have any capacity to take out people before they get there, do that. To make Lucio's life easy, stick inside his circle of influence. It's clearly marked, and if you want heals, stay in it. Whether or not you agree with the healer choice of Lucio, that's who you've got, so that's who you should work with. Lucio is going to spend a lot of time around the tanks, and you should be there too. Lucio is an excellent healer for making people group up when they should. Also, you can avoid getting him exposed when he tries to heal you to be a good sport by avoiding wide open areas. If he gets killed while trying to heal you, just make sure it wasn't for some stupid dumb bum dick reason. For Mercy, think about where you're standing in relation to the rest of your team. If you are all clumped together, it's easy for her to actually get to all of you, that's true, but if you're too close together, it's hard to click the right bloody player. If you spread out just a little bit, you stay in range of her healing beam, but you also give her different anchor points to fly to when she's in trouble. What Mercy will also appreciate is if you understand the way her ultimate works. She can heal everybody at the same time, but that doesn't mean she is. Once you hear her ult get announced, have a look at who she's directing her healing beam onto, and then crowd around that person. For Moira, move around with her and swarm around her like bees around a queen. She needs to get in there to recharge her healing beam from time to time, and it's best if you share the damage while she's getting shot at. If she's in a pickle, she can usually zip away with Fade, but she's not always going to have that available. And to make the healing easier on her, start chasing her healing orbs instead of trying to be in the right spot at the right time. They do slow down quite a bit when you're in range and feeding you, so make sure you get the most out of it when you can. For Symmetra, if you want a shield or a teleporter, you need to be very specific about where you want her to put it. A lot of people don't describe points very well on the map, and I realize it can be hard if you're in the middle of a firefight. Just shoot the ground or spray tag the area that you need it. If you're on the way somewhere, spray on the ground and ask if Symmetra can put down a teleporter there. Something to that effect. And just as a little bit of help on the side, if you're not somewhere defending her turrets or working with them to get kills, leave them alone. Don't draw attention to them. They work very well if they're not spotted. And for Zenyatta, keep an eye on him. He's very, very squishy. He doesn't have escape mechanics like other people do. He's just got those orbs to defend himself. He's expected to do DPS at the same time, so make sure you tell him when you need healing. If you have the orb on you, keep in line of sight of him. And something else that Zenyatta will love you for, shoot his discorded targets, because they go down faster than your mum. Well, that'll just about do it for me today. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope to see you out there and join you on that long, hard journey out of Fucktown. And remember, it's just fine to make mistakes, because it doesn't get any lower than bronze.